So last Sunday, I was down in my basement, just walking around, looking at my layout, and I came over to this spot. And I was thinking, man, I am tired of this blank, ugly spot here. This diner's been all over the layout. I've been trying to find a home for it. So I got to thinking, you know, this could be a good spot for that diner. So, you know, the engineering brain started to work, and because this is on a slope, like a probably about a 30 degree decline in, <laughs> versus incline, as you can probably kind of picture that in the uh, in this picture right here. So I'll show you what I did because I decided that this is a good spot for the diner. So I decided to build this foundation. What I used was a eighth inch uh, board, the same as uh, being used on the uh, fascia. I forgot to uh, take a few pictures of the uh, foundation prior to painting because I was kind of focused on working, but uh, that's just eighth inch board, cut at an angle, front, back, side, and uh, the base is also a uh, uh, eighth inch board that I glued together. And uh, the railings are from, uh, I think, micro engineering uh, uh, fencing, so it's not real railings, but it's fencing. The steps are from uh, left over from my mill kit that I have been doing and also the uh, handrail for the steps are from the mill kit. So that's what I use to uh, build this foundation and uh, railing to keep the people safe as they're walking around up there. Next I w wondered how am I going to start scenic in this thing so the front, up front there I uh, continued to use the uh, same scenery I'd already been using. those. Uh, bushes I think they're scenic express uh, woodland scenics or something like that bushes across the front edge there um, you can see there's three different textures of uh, gravel and dirt along the front there from the road there's the gravel entrance that's uh, some gravel stuff I get from Hobby Lobby and I right now don't recall the name of it then you can see there's some talus along the slope and uh, some dirt up along the edges along where the uh, black, I guess you could call it, tarred area where the cars are sitting. And uh, over on the right corner there, there's just dirt and stuff back there. Um, I was kind of debating on if I wanted to come in with a gravel walk, I mean a gravel parkway area, or a, uh, do some uh, uh, asphalt, but after being up in uh, Pennsylvania earlier this year and going to a uh, diner, and uh, remembering that their uh, parking area was all gravel and dirt, I decided to uh, go the gravel route. So I continued to add scenery around the structure and foundation here. The, the bushes over to the right there are, with the yellow flowers, are something I picked up up at uh, Amherst this past year, which I can't remember from Scenic Express. Um, the bushes in front of the uh, silver car there are some AK bushes. The ones to the left of the car are some Martin Wilberg with some flower petals added to it. And uh, you can see added some more of that uh, foam looking shrubbery along the edge there also. And I think I added some more shrubbery up front there. Some more bushes rather. You can still see it. Still wet when I took this picture. And another bush in the back back there. So uh, and over to the right of the building I did add a few more things. I can't remember where they came from but a little greenery grass, you know, in the field, I eventually I'm going to um, put some trees over there. Oh, let's see, what's going on here? Oh, I still thought it looked a little plain between the uh, building and the road, so I went in and added uh, the fencing along the back side between the building and the uh, road, and I had a little more bushes up at the edge of the fencing where the road, two roads tee together there, so... Uh, Make things look a little bit nicer, I hoped here. Oh boy, the suspense is over. Now you know the name of the diner. It's called Maddie's. Maddie's Diner. Maddie was uh, my grandmother, my father's mother. So if, if you've been following my channel a little bit, you know that I've been naming a lot of my businesses after my relatives. So um, that sign uh, came with the kit, at least the, uh, not the signage, but the sign itself, the structure part, I guess. So I, I worked that and, you know, made the sign Maddie's Diner and painted it up and 
the open 24 hours was part of the kit, so I put that in there. Um, started adding a few uh, some signage in the windows to the diner. Uh, I can't see it real clear from this pic, but one's a hamburger, one's a cup of coffee, and one is a waffles. Um, on the roof, which is not glued on because I'm still debating on uh, interior and lighting and things like that. But I did, uh, I added those two vents. Those are from a Walther's kit, a Walther's roof, roof kit, roofing kit. I forget what the real name of it is. Um, it came with some of those vents, but uh, I didn't like those, so I, I put my own in there. Um, also, I think in one of these pictures, you will also see that I added some uh, cross bucks at the crossing back there. And I did change the uh, fencing of the houses across the street to that is the um, microengineering uh, fencing. But I got to do a better job installing it. It's just standing up right now. So I'll work on that and make it look a little nicer in the future. So uh, there you have it. Uh, that's my diner project for the week. It is not complete, but just want to just put that out there and let you guys see what I've been doing. And as my buddy Pappy would say, hit that like button if you don't mind. It don't cost you nothing. Anthony, Georgia Sunbelt.